Mm. That was so cool. Tell me, where are those unannounced visitors? Hmm? This one no sharing. Eh, iti kahe te se kere ruo iriyo zani no igua. Sawa. O me kere le moko. Na to kama romere na gisiko kiu kene ne. Ne gisiko kau kani ni gakuria. Kai mawe na mawazo. Eh, de na mawazo to de ugi ohiki wa kwa domo kema rete. Oko matino kaku honiyo. Sawa. Ne Hey there, welcome to another episode of Hanging Out with Me in the Kitchen Space. And today I'm back with another chicken recipe that I'm pretty sure you're going to love. So today we are making some chicken biryani. And this was a requested video by one of my loyal fans. So that's what I'm here to do. And these are the list of ingredients that I'm going to be using. And I'll explain everything in a few. And from this corner, I have some salt. I have my coriander stems. I have my ginger and garlic which are grated i have my spices and i have some turmeric curry powder pilau masala and i'm going to come back to this in a few some chicken masala and some paprika this is natural yogurt make sure you're using natural yogurt and not strawberry or vanilla or any other flavored yogurt i have my chicken and today i'm feeling like going all out with the chicken species so i'm having some eggs but these are not necessary but if at all you have why not So first things first, we need to start by marinating our chicken. And this is the simplest uh, chicken biryani recipe that you'll come across. You'll need a kitchen towel and you're just going to pat them dry. I've already washed my chicken. So remember that chicken is usually very tricky because you mess up with it, you're going to get some infection and this is caused by the salmonella in the chicken. So that's why you have to properly handle your chicken. And so after every stage of handling my chicken, I'm going to be washing my hands thoroughly. I'm also using the body of the chicken, so you'll notice that there are no chicken breast or the thighs because I've already used them in another recipe. And I'm going to link all these recipes at the end of this video. So I've already washed my hands. And as I mentioned, uh, this is pilau masala. And basically, pilau masala is a combination of various spices. Uh, the pilau masala that I'm using today contains some um, cumin, some black pepper, cinnamon, cardamom, and cloves. So if at all you do not have like pilau masala at hand for this particular recipe, you can use those individual spices. Also, you can feel free to use some coriander powder, but today we are using the real thing. And I can tell you that aroma coming from the garlic and the ginger is quite amazing. This means that our end product is going to be good as well. Then I'll go in with my yogurt. So something else that I've not mentioned that you need for this particular recipe is the onions, of course, some cooking oil, and also you need some rice, some coriander leaves, and uh, what else? Of course, some water. So uh, the natural yogurt is going to help tenderize the meat and it's also going to add some flavor into the chicken. So I'm also going to add some salt. Then I'm going to close this and I'm going to let it marinate for about one to two hours. So in the meantime, I'm going to chop my onions. I need to slice them into onion rings. Then we are going to deep fry our onions till they become golden in color and this is going to help to add some flavor into our dish. So I'll start by adding some cooking oil and then I'm going to wait for it to become extremely hot then I can go in with my cut onions. So once my oil is hot I'm going to carefully add my onions. And then I'm going to keep turning them so that they do not burn. One hack that I want you to incorporate in your kitchen is when you're making some biryani, just fry a little bit of more onions. Then the excess onions, you can store them in the freezer. And the day you feel like eating some pilau, pilau ya haraka haraka, just remove them and add them into your pot and continue cooking. So you are going to save on the time that you could have waited for your onions to become golden brown. 
So our onions are doing quite okay and this may take about 5 to 10 minutes depending on the amount of heat that you're using. But you have to be careful because when you burn them, just like pilau, uh, your stew is going to be bitter. Yeah, and that's the perfect color that you want. So we are going to remove them from the fire and then we proceed cooking. Then, this is about one and a half hours later, and we are going to add some oil in here, and this oil is very flavorful. And the remaining, we are going to set it aside, and we can use it in our cooking tomorrow. Then, I'm also going to add some onions in here. I'll just blend this in. And then, I'll proceed to let this cook for about 30 minutes on medium high heat. So I'm just going to cover this and let it cook undisturbed. So this is about 10 minutes later and I want to continue with my cooking and this is how things are looking like. They are looking very yummy and the fragrance in the kitchen is top notch. And then on this side I'm going to cook my rice. So I'm cooking this one glass of rice. I'm going to add three glasses of water. Then I'm going to season my water with some salt, some bay leaves, some cinnamon sticks, and some cloves about five of them I'm actually using six and some black pepper cones and I'm also going to add about two tablespoons of cooking oil then I'm going to wait for this to become hot then I can go in with my rice and make sure you wash your rice before it's shikane shikane then I'll go in with my washed rice And if you're still watching to this point, uh, leave me some chicken emojis down in the comment section. And I'm going to let this cook till it is almost ready. Then I'll be back to show you what to do next. And in the meantime, I'm boiling my eggs using my egg cooker. And I've done a review on that particular appliance. So you can check that out. So as you can see, my rojo is almost ready. And this is about 30 minutes later. And I'm just going to transfer this into a bigger sphoria. I'm going to add some little bit of the rice water. Then give it a quick stir. And this is going to help so that it's a shikane uh, in the last process. And you can see that my rice is almost ready. So we are just going to uh, pour our rice in here. Our fire is on low. And then halfway, remember that I told you you need some corianders and some eggs. So this is where my eggs go in. So I'll just make some holes. But eggs, that is totally optional. If at all you do not feel like having eggs, just leave it out. Then I'll add some of my corianders. Then I'll finish it up with a layer of rice. Then finally, we need some orange food color and some water. So I'm going to add my food color in here, but if at all you do not have the food color, you can also use some turmeric. That will work also. Then I'm going to add some little bit of some water. Then I'm going to spread this. I'm going to distribute it.
Then I'm going to layer it with my onions. And finally, I'm going to add in my remaining corianders. Then we will cover this and make sure that your lid is airtight. If it is not airtight, use some foil or some parchment paper. Then I'm going to close this and then I'm going to cook this for an extra about 5 to 10 minutes on low heat. And this is to make sure that my rice fully cooks because remember uh, it is about 90% done. Then I'll see you for serving. So guys, as you've seen, it was that easy preparing this one pot chicken biryani and it's not time to give it a taste test. First things first, make sure that your hands are very clean and then we are going to dig in. And you can see the beautiful distribution of the colors. Mm. 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 Wow. Mm. 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 This is so cool. Tell me, where are those unannounced visitors? While when you hook just at lunch time, today they can bet they are going to have a rough one. Hmm. This one no sharing. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. And you can see, actually, me to here, moja moja, just how I like it. Hmm. so good thumbs on and we also have our egg So that's it for today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll definitely see you in my next one. Bye.